Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we are drinking Trooper Sun and Steel by Iron Maiden. It's a sake lager. It's a 4.8% alcohol by volume. So stick around, music. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. Iron Maiden, they rock, right? Well, today we're gonna try a new one by them called Sun and Steel, and it's a sake Ooh, lager. and I can't wait, because I love sake. However, it says that it's, uh, they use uh, sake yeast in the fermentation, and so we'll see. In the notes, good, the description good. in the notes, it uh, talks about sake as well. That's pretty clear. Looks like a nice lager. It says it's a pilsner, and it's Bruce Dickinson, the singer, has been doing the uh, collaboration on the, the beers, and uh, the Trooper beer, which we've uh, tasted. On the can, it says it took two years to come up with this formula. It has a very, very light scent. It has a more traditional, kind of a bready, Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You're going to taste it already, huh? It's a very clean taste. I really enjoy it. It's very English. Yeah. Clean, pub-like beer. You know, nothing too fruity or, or, you know, crazy. It's just real clean and nice drinking beer. I enjoy it. I love it. Yeah, it tastes more like a, a traditional Pilsner. doesn't have any anything that really stands out as far as sake flavor. Yeah, I'm not really getting any sort of sake flavor, but we do love Iron Maiden. We love Iron Maiden, we love their beers. Yeah, their newest album, Sinjutsu, it's, it's a rocker. You know what we're supposed to say when we, cheers, cheers again. Oh, Kanpai. Kanpai? No, that is, I think how you say it, Kanpai or Kanpai. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. You, you pick which one you think is better, you guys. <laughs> yeah. We're not Japanese, so someone Japanese can tell us the real if we're saying it Way correctly. It. But uh, one thing I can say is I respect this beer. It sure is darn good. So I like the sake idea with it. That's it. Yeah, Clean promoting that. Flavor is excellent. On a scale of one through five, the tasty meter, what would you give? On a scale of one through five, I'd give it a 4.5. This is a very nice lager. And I would go with a 2.5. He just doesn't like lager beers. No, I mean, it, it's good. It just doesn't have these wild flavors I that I enjoy out of craft beer. You just it's don't more like, traditional. But yeah, you don't like more of the plain lagers, yeah, but no. I do. I like it for what it is, and it's very, very good. I like a clean But I do beer. love Iron Maiden. <laughs> so because I, think I gave made, it such, I think you've made <laughs> that very clear. <laughs> yeah, well, because I don't want Eddie to uh, come get me because of my opinion of the beer. Eddie, he'll come and get you the true beer. Yeah, because I've been a supporter of it's Iron Maiden fun. since... Jeez, Did you show them all, oh, some pictures in this book? Look no. at all this, you guys. Look at that. This book is killer, huh? Yeah, it was the artist Derek Riggs put out a book of uh, his artwork and tells a story of how he went about creating Eddie. Oh, we did, did we show the inside where uh, he drew us a little Eddie. More Heavy Metal Beer Club shows to come. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and set the bell. Oh, and I, oh. Set the bell. Ding! And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please be safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to stay, stay metal. metal. All right. And that's a wrap. That's a wrap.